What is virtual land and why is it the future of real estate? To sum virtual land up in two sentences, it is land housed on a server rather than on a planet, which has the ability to be owned, transferred, and utilized much the same as real world land, but it provides massive benefits for the environment, productivity, for equality, and life in general, well above what can be achieved on real world land. So let me explain why I believe certain virtual lands, such as the land in the Megaverse Metaverse, will become significantly more valuable than real world land. First, I need to set the stage though. There are different types of virtual lands. Some metaverses are designed for gameplay or purely entertainment. Others, like Megaverse, are designed to be hyper-realistic and highly functional to promote next-level education and business. Each type of land does have its place. For this discussion, we're going to look at the hyper-realistic virtual lands, as we believe they hold the promise of not only creating a brighter future for the world, but also becoming investment-grade virtual real estate in the future, similar to real estate in the real world. Virtual land is a predetermined area or lot of land created for a specific purpose in a metaverse. In most cases, these lots are secured with a blockchain-based smart contract, which not only proves your ownership in the land, but also provides the details, rights, and privileges of owning that virtual land. This should also be a governance structure planned or existing for the community, city, or world that virtual land resides in. So one very important point to virtual land that most people and even metaverses are not taking into account is this. Since all virtual lands are housed on a server and require ongoing server management, security, and upgrades, there must be ongoing revenue coming into that particular metaverse. If there is not, or it's not sufficient to maintain the metaverse in the future, the land would have a finite lifespan. So in our city, Megaverse, for example, we have a limited number of buildable lots. Those are lots that can be sold. Once they are sold, no more buildable lots will be created in this city. Therefore, we have a $25 per month utility fee per lot in the main business district of Megaverus. Oceanfront properties, islands, and exclusive areas have a different utility fee, but all are very low. This allows a business owner to run a business inside Megaverus with foot traffic and eyeballs on their business, use the Megaverus v-commerce system and generate revenue with only a $25 per month utility fee. Most metaverses have a limited amount of land available and so when that land is sold, there must be additional revenue streams to operate the space. There are some metaverses that do not cap their land. This waters down the value and potential appreciation over time. Simple economics, really. When there's a supply of something which is much greater than the demand for that item, the value is low. When there is a limited supply and a lot of demand, the value and therefore the price is higher and value will usually increase. Besides value, scarcity and purpose, there are several other aspects to virtual land which are really worth pointing out. Better land use for one. Think about space itself. The metaverse is built on very high-end server farms. The space it takes to house a huge city or even multiple huge cities can all fit into a single real-world building. Yet, almost anything that, that can be done in the real world can be done in the virtual city, resulting in exponentially more productivity per acre of space. Imagine shrinking down all the office buildings, retail stores, schools, etc. of a major city and placing them into just one small office building, yet keeping them all fully functional. That is the power of virtual land. Energy efficiency. The power required to run a city, say the size of New York, London, or Paris is immense. The power required to run an equivalent amount of virtual space is a small fraction of that and can easily be done with renewable energy. Technology integration and upgrades. They're as easy as a system update. Picture everything you need in a future city as easily updated as a software program today. No need to dig tunnels, build bridges, run conduits, etc. Just upgrade the platform as you would software and the entire city is upgraded. How about transportation? To travel from one city to the next, or for that matter, anywhere in a city, no longer requires trains, planes, or automobiles. It's as simple as choosing a destination and walking through our virtual doorway to your desired destination. A technology that even Captain Kirk of the Starship Enterprise would have been jealous. Productivity. 
This is really key. The tools and programs to work efficiently in VR are being developed fast. Rhino XR Studio's development team roadmap includes developing a special VR suite designed to make working in the metaverse simpler, more intuitive, and faster than on a standard desktop today. Even access is different. Global access to virtual lands is simple and incredibly powerful. Entry into Megaverse does not require a passport or visa. While there, you can go shopping, attend a concert or conference, go to work, or to enjoy incredible experiences with friends and family, no matter where on the globe or how far apart you are all physically located. Governance, this is big. Virtual lands designed for a purpose and planned to last will have an internal governance in place. A government, basically. For example, every landowner in Megaverse has one vote per lot of land owned. Annually, a new board of directors is elected from within the city virtual land owners. Term limits are also in place with no more than two consecutive terms allowed to be served. Language. Since access to the metaverse is global, a well-planned metaverse designed for business and education will have a translation system built in, allowing for common communication between all visitors and inhabitants. Ownership. This is huge. Just like with real world real estate, virtual real estate has proof of ownership of the land. It also allows for the buying and selling of the land with or without the buildings on that virtual land. So to sum virtual land up in just two sentences, it is land housed on a server rather than on a planet, which has the ability to be owned, transferred and utilized much the same as real world land, providing massive benefits for the environment, productivity, equality and life well above what can be achieved on real world land.